doing a bit of training for the Five Peaks Challenge, Rotary's fundraising ride that's coming up at the end of April, the last Sunday in April. I'm just starting out on Mount Ainsley, which is the fourth uh, peak in the, in the series. Uh, this is probably uh, one of the longest and uh, good little ride, and I'm, uh, I should be ready for the, uh, for the big ride in April. The first peak, which is Mount Stromlo, nice gentle little rise, then there's Red Hill, and uh, then there's Mount Pleasant, and then you're here, where we are now, right on, uh, on Mount Ainsley. The Mint uh, Morning Tea Stop is one of our, uh, our traditional stops, where the uh, homemade rotary morning teas are always a big, uh, a big hit with riders. So you really get six peaks for the price of five. Here I am at the top of Mount Pleasant. This is the third peak in the Five Peaks Challenge. It's coming up on the 28th of April, the uh, weekend after Easter. And so come to Canberra for uh, some great cycling. Pick as many peaks as you like out of the Five Peaks Challenge. Um, one of the beauties of it is that you'll be able to see some really great views of Canberra while you're here and discover some of the peaks that you might not have otherwise seen if you're a regular. Canberra resident. And the second peak is uh, Red Hill. It has a view down over Parliament House and Lake. And here we are on Mount Pleasant. We're looking steadily down the lake and we can just see over the treetops the next peak in the challenge, Mount Ainsley. And the final peak is Mount uh, Black Mountain there with the Telstra Tower poking up. So you can see it's quite a scenic ride. Pick as many peaks as you like. Now don't forget to uh, enter the Five Peaks Challenge online, rotaryrides.org.au, and we'll be raising lots of funds for the Rotary projects.